So, uh, just got back from one of my mental health sessions. Pretty enlightening experience, you know. It was one that, one that kind of like one I hadn't had in a while. You know, as of recent, it's been more, it hasn't been a true desire to go because I hadn't had shit to talk about. It was all the same shit. Nothing really significant happened in my life. That felt like needed to be talked about, you know. And, um, we, this time, man, after this past week I had, which was supposedly my birthday weekend, man, like, literally right after my fucking birthday celebration shit went south. My birthday itself and my birthday celebration was awesome. Right after that, did a complete 180. But anyway, not even going to get into, you know, how that conversation flowed, but, uh, what I want to talk about is um, some things that I just been, you know how I always think of more shit afterwards. And, um, man, it was, it's a real enlightening experience, dude. First off, uh, something that's been bugging me, like, um, I notice, well, I know there's like, I don't know what the word or phrase or anything, what to call it, what name to put on it or whatever, but the way, what I'm trying to get at is, uh, the way, like, you know, certain sub, certain things you do subconsciously, you don't realize you do them can speak a lot about you. Like the way I talk with my hands like this, what does that say about me? Or say you have a couch with three cushions, right? You, and, um, you know, each person, what you get one person to come in at a time and sit on this couch, wherever they desire. And, um, you know, like the person who sits in the middle and just takes up the whole couch is like how, like that can say a lot about the difference between him and the person who, you know, chills on the side or kind of like, you know, sits in one corner or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want... You get what I'm trying to say? Like, certain certain things you do that you don't realize you do can say a lot about you. And I want to get a word or phrase so I could study that shit more. Because that's, that's interesting to me. Um, that's one thing that's been on my mind since. Also, like, um, well, there's this video I got to show you guys. And it, it just got my mind flowing. But something that, I, something that that video has also gotten me thinking about is, like, um how I'm a more enlightened person, you know, other people, they're grounded, they're closed minded, they don't think outside the box, they don't see a lot of shit that someone like me sees. <laughs> Sit in, uh, as I was thinking about this, like I'm walking back to my room for my appointment and simple shit like, uh, as I'm walking back, I, there's this dog barking at me or whatever. And it reminds me of this time where not too long ago, there was this dog this chick was walking her dog, I was walking by, and her dog got off the leash, and like, it was charging me, barking, right? And, um, like, I didn't, I didn't fuck, what I, my reaction to it was like, I was kind of like welcoming it, or showing, showing it that I was calm, that I wasn't a threat. I didn't give it any reason to get more agitated. And I compared that to younger me. I would be scared of dogs because I didn't know them, right? I didn't know their intentions, that their actions were intimidating. And like me making that correlation made me see that I think on a different level than most people. Like you can't be open minded and see that that a dog ain't going, a dog is just as fearful as you are. You're too close minded to see the difference. You know what I'm saying? You're scared of the dog. It's scared of you. You're probably scared of the dog. It's scared of you, too. But it's acting on its fear. It's trying to intimidate you. You show it some compassion. Show it that you're not a threat. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't realize that I had done... I didn't put it into words that I had done that until after the fact. But, like, yeah, I learned that dogs are just as fearful of us. Or you fucking show a dog you're not a threat, <laughs> it won't know what to do. And I'm wondering, like, have any of you ever... Um, had any experiences like that, you know? And uh, share it with me. Like, do, do you think on this level? I don't even know what the title of this video, but uh, yeah.